series um, starting up on my channel uh, but we will be starting up the first one uh, this is the legendary edition so things should look pretty nice uh, this is one of my more favorite series that I've ever played so let's get the show on the road Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Uh, we will be playing a, uh, a femme ship this go around. I normally play as male ship, but uh, I don't even think it affects anything really in this game except for uh, possibly in the later ones uh, who you can and can't romance ah, but it'll be all right for us please log in to access your profile warning data corruption detected please reconstruct profile Confirm pre-service history. Spacer, uh, both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Following in your parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. And then colonist, you were born and raised on Mindwar, a small border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing lines patrol, and you enlisted with the military a few years later. And then there's the Earthborn. You were an orphan raised on the streets of the great megatropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime in the underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. I really like the appeal of colonists. Confirm psychological profile. And then Soul Survivor, during your service, a mission you a uh, mission you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you're alone. And uh, now you alone are left to tell the tale. Then we have War Hero. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow so uh, soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Aligned Fleet. And there's Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast to one basic rule. Get the job done. You have been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow, uh, fellow soldiers wary of you. But when failure is not an option, the military always goes to you first. Uh, let's do a war here. Confirm military specialization. So, we have the three cores which is sol uh, soldier, tech, and biotics. I usually like to do the tech or biotics. Those are very fun. Uh, but then you have the subsets, which is infiltrator is the tech soldier. Uh, I, I played this the first time I ever played. Uh, I actually hated it because uh, I didn't know what I was doing when I first played it. Then you have the sentinel, which is basically the, the biotic soldier. Then you have vanguard. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, biotic uh, tech. Then sentinel is the biotic tech. Then you have vanguard, which is the biotic soldier. Uh, we will be going sentinel. Confirm it's facial a good identification. for us. Uh, it's fine. Profile reconstruction Don't complete. Do that, uh, do that too much. It's identification confirmed. Uh, legendary mode, because uh, level cap is no longer 30. Subtitles on, auto save, yep, yep. Uh, I'll leave these tutorials on, because it's been a while since I've played this game. And there we go. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. 
She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies. We travel to the third stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it Mass Effect. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Commander? Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. I completely agree, Joker. Dang, the game looks very good. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. <laughs> Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? <laughs> is he upset? <laughs> nah, you made him mad. Great. You pissed the captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Already got our points to Paragon status. That's good. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Captain this, Captain that. I'm telling you, I just saw him. He marked file like he was on a mission. The inspectors are always on a mission. And we're getting dragged, right along with him. Relax, Presley. You're gonna give yourself an ulcer. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? <laughs> Sounds like you don't trust Arturian Guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. 
Why send a Spectre? A Turian Spectre on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. Mm. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. Yeah. It's the spelling of a conspiracy. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. Yeah, plus he's a specter. Nihilus is no ordinary Turian. You've got that right, Commander. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Yeah, I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Ah, oh, this game looks amazing. I love it. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many right spy vids, Jenkins. They got a license to kill. <laughs> what do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. <laughs> uh, relax. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Mm. Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no matter how capable. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those C-Sec grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. <laughs> You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But 
When I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. And you'll be fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. He sounds so out of breath and excited, dude. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Ooh, free Paragon points right there, too. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. About? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent. Even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. For what? Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Alright. Good explanation. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. 
And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. In Halo terms, they're the forerunners. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Alrighty. Big deal. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold at 38.5. Status report. Looks like a hand. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. That looks real good. <laughs> Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Silas, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. All right. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. And you know what? I think it is a good point to save here so we don't have to sit through a lot of the lore and talking right now in case this something place happens. Got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Keep your guard up. Set up my abilities in the quick slot. Uh, and I actually should spend some points. 
The squad screen lets you view your team's talents. Mouse over a talent or its rank to view it. Click a talent to spend a talent point to gain a rank in it. As you gain levels, you will acquire talent points and unlock higher ranks. Uh, for us, barriers, nice. Uh, do, 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 do. We have decryption already. Uh, charm is useful. Uh, and first aid. There we go. Uh, Alright, um, barrier for Caden and Sentinel, so he has the extra health. There we go. And finish that off so I don't have to do it again. And then we can move on with our lives. On some planets, when you kill the intelligence, which are like animals or whatever, uh, you can get a uh, Paragon or Renegade. <laughs> oh, and you know what? I actually might tone down the volume just a little bit. Uh, so that you can hear me, because it does get a little crazy. There we go. Uh, that should be good, I hope. That's good. What happened here? Jeez, oh, my sensitivity is pretty high. Go through all in the scroll wheel. I thought it would be quick swap. X is quick swap, so do it like this. I'm playing around with my gun. Don't worry. I'll talk with you here soon, dude. You know, you're totally more important than the order my guns are in. I'm... All right. Uh, okay. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete, but I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, ma'am. Plus two Paragon. Metagel is needed to heal injured squad members. Omnidrel can be used to bypass decryption on electronics. Both things can be acquired by defeating enemies in open territory. Press V to use Metagel. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Um, I am a crack shot. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. He the one who charged here, ma'am? 
Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins, and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. Lord Dump! <laughs> what happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol. Caden's not holding a gun. Us. We never knew they were coming. Am I, am I the one who sees this? He, he wasn't holding a gun. He just hands in the air. <laughs> Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. Have you saw this yeah, guy? No gun. No. Carries enough See? firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Hands are holding nothing. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. All right. Uh, it's now canon. Uh, Move the up. reason why Jenkins died is because Caden doesn't have a gun. Um, he likes to do air guns the entire time. So it's all Caden's fault. He's he's a bad he, he's a bad lieutenant. <laughs> Uh, I'll renege on the uh, pistols, or renege, or however you want to pronounce that. Throw a save in. Do some looting and scooting. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Ooh, okay, radioactive rounds is pretty... Both chemical and radioactive rounds are pretty nice this early on. The equipment screen allows you to equip and upgrade gear for your squad. Click the filter tab to switch item types. Click an item and click the equip button to assign it. Click on an equipped item's upgrade slot to select an upgrade. Click the Omni Gel button to break down the selected item into Omni Gel. Yeah, radioactive rounds. These rounds are stamped. Uh, they do radiation sickness, chem rounds, uh, the toxic damage. Right now at level one, the chem rounds are much better. Don't have any mods for that, but that's okay. Uh, I think we picked up better armor. Yeah, we did. Alright, move on. effect for my gun. There we go. Push up. Uh, if 
I'm gonna charge people. Turn off the barrier. I'm getting all my shots. Not really. Making an outline around that dude. Making all my shots, right, guys? <laughs> Jeez. The F is melee. Okay. Dig site. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Right. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. Oh, sorry to interrupt you, Nihilus. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. They're still alive. What did the Geth do to them? Uh, uh, that one's gonna be like some sort of suicide. Alright, uh, a throw would be good. There's a door there. That door, it's closed. I have decryption, so I can do this, but I would uh, very much like to get it done right and Security not have to engaged. spend on me, Joe. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to access. If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using decryption or electronics interface or by spending the Omni Gel. Um, I have decryption. Advance to the central core, move the mouse to move around the ring, left click and right click to move inward and outward, avoid the security programs. Uh, hopefully I get it done on this try. <laughs> had a clear section that was actually really good for us humans thank the maker hurry close the door before they come back don't worry we'll protect you thank you i think we'll be okay now it looks like everyone's gone you're dr warren the one in charge of the excavation do you know what happened to the beacon it was moved to the spaceport this morning manuel and i stayed behind to help pack up the camp when the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit... unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast! Unleashed the darkness! Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Is your guy good? What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... 
unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. <laughs> I can shut him up. Nah, that's not... Uh, I don't think there's much, anything else. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Ooh, Paragon. You loot. The goblin returns. Uh, Omni Joe on a grenade. Shame. And you know what? I think that's where I'll end it here in this little section of the prologue. So, uh, actually, I'll be posting more of this. Uh, please, please feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, you guys have a good day.